Good afternoon, Hewitt. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. I believe you're going to be speaking at the conference tomorrow. I will, yeah. So perhaps if you could tell us a little bit more about what you're going to be speaking about. Well, I'm speaking together with uh, Solvay as one of our customers. Uh, we are a small consulting uh, company which uh, are supporting most of the, our, the chemical companies. And we did a good project last year with them, uh, mainly on SNOP, the implementation of sales and operations planning. So after a big assessment of their four plans and the entire supply chain, concluded they had to implement SNOP. So uh, they did it and uh, we were happy to help them with that. And how has that improved things for them? Well, I did quite a lot and especially, uh, I believe, the communication between, let's say, sales and, and supply chain. I mean, you see a lot of presentations here today also on, on improving structures and process and everything, but the biggest change that we've seen is especially that, that they communicate better with sales. There's better mutual understanding. That's uh, the biggest advantage that we've seen now. This is, this is what everyone's talking about is this idea of collaboration has been one of the biggest talk, talking topics in the main room, I think, that we're seeing a real shift now the, we're from going away from being a cost center and really using the strategic benefits of supply chain to, to make big differences to the business and it sounds like this is the, the approach that you're, you're recommending to people then. Yeah, it's the same, yeah. And, and, and it's funny that we also were asked, okay, think about the next generation as an AP. And a lot of people think about even more integration about in finance, customers and everything. But I personally believe, and that's why it's good to be standing next to the to Twitter logo, <laughs> Um, I believe that the, the new SNOP leader in the future has to be one that is on Twitter, but internally, let's say, to, to find out, okay, what are the trending topics, who can I believe, who's my trusted community that I talk to, and hearing all the different things that are happening within the company, and then integrating that into, okay, what is the plan and what should we do to react to that. So, so Twitter aside, what are some uh, practical steps then that that you think people uh, that, uh, that are leading their supply chain operations should be taking to better integrate themselves well, it's, into business. It's a lot about the profile of, of the SNOP leader, let's say. It, it, in, in most of the cases today, it's it, the planner who promoted to SNOP leader. is quite analytical and good with numbers and everything and, and analysis, but it's not always the best communicator and, and not very intuitive. And I believe that profile has to change. You see that profile in, in higher up in the scale, let's say, with the supply chain VP or director, but not usually with the SNOP manager or something like that. And, and especially with chemical companies, you have a lot of en engineers, they're very analytically very good, well structured, but they're not usually on Twitter or, or Facebook or anything. And I believe that the, the next generation SNOP leader has to be one who has, can combine the two. So be analytical and structured, but also make sure that he communicates well with, okay, what is going on within the company today? And also volatility has been another big talking point. Yeah. Um, what are, what, in what ways are, are you finding collaboration helps people get to grips with potential problems and indeed circumnavigate risk, not entirely, but as much as possible? Well, it, it, it's communicating. It, it, it's, and that's why I believe in this, this let's say, concept of, of, let's say, the SNOP leader as being let's say, on, on the Twitter agent, let's say, within the company, because it's a lot about, I think 80% of the business is, is and will remain predictable, but, but this 20% is increasing of volatility. And there, I mean, you can put everything into structures and process, but some things you cannot predict. So, and I think the easiest then is to be flexible and to make sure that all the people are ready to, to react to it and that you communicate quickly with, let's say, the, the people who, who make a difference and, and can influence production or logistics or sales and everything. So become a, some kind of, a, yeah, let's say, a Facebook community that you can work with and react to that uh, volatility, let's say, in the market. Now, one of the, uh, the so as, a, as a company that has obviously put this strategy forward and, and helped guide other companies through this process, mm -hmm. What are the typical major challenges that you see people coming up against when trying to collaborate better? It, it's, uh, in the end, it's a lack of confidence, I believe, in each other. That they are used to work with somebody for 10 years and they had the same frustrations, the same strong discussions with them. And now it's a different mindset. They say, okay, in, instead of repeating all discussions, let's look at a solution together. Let's change our mindset. And sometimes you need also new, new people for that, to do that and, and to break through that let's say, that, the, the, that kind of process they had together, let's say. So I think it's also bringing in new blood, but also helping people to see, well, it's, it's about the same goal that we have and, and trying to achieve that and not about fighting together uh, 
to, to, to achieve different goals, let's say. So if people do want to find out more then, uh, where can they go? What should they do? Well, come to us, of course. <laughs> so we have, of course, a website, www.quint.eu. And there they can find also contact information. And uh, hopefully uh, most of the people will come to the, to the session tomorrow and uh, find a nice presentation there. I look forward to being there as well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers.